Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 246. Problem number 246 and today, today is our lesson number 156. Let's take a look at it. The very first one it says for each of the following functions and they give you five of them they're asking you to give the domain and provide a description of the graph, the shape of the graph and uh, and figure out the x and the y intercept and the very first one they give us is this function here f of x that tells you equals negative 4 and of course we know that f of x is same as y f of x is same as y typically we write uh, typically we write this as y equals f of x the, the value of the function the value of the function is the y coordinate of a given point whatever the, uh, the y coordinate of a given point is that is what is called the value of the function. And if you're still shaky about the, the mere concept of the function, I do not have the data in front of me right now. I, I, I did not write them ahead of time. But if you want to learn a little bit more about the function, start from the very first day when I started the concept of function. Just type in my name, just type in Kishwani, and just type in function, and it will pop right up. This function, this function, y equals f of x, which is negative 4, as you can tell, this function is constant. It's constant. That is, no matter no matter what values no matter what values x takes. y just remains equal to 4. You ask me, what's the value of y when x is 2? I will say 4. What's the value of y when x is 10? It's 4. What's the value of y when x is 37? It's 4. What's the value of y when x is negative 35? 4. What's the value of y when x is negative 3 quarter? 4. y never changes. The value of the y is always the same. It's 4. What is, this? What is the graph going to look like? Well, let's see. There is a, yeah, when x is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. When x is 1, y is 4. When x is 2, y is 4. When x is 4, 5, y is 4. When x is 6, 7, y is 4. When x is half, y is 4. When x is 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5, y is 4. No matter what the value of the x is, no matter what value x takes, y is always 4. It is simply, it is simply, a line parallel to y axis. It is it is simply it is simply a line parallel to sorry parallel to x axis is what I mean to say parallel, parallel to x axis at y equal to four. That's what it is. That's, it has no that's what it is. It has it has no x-intercept. Why doesn't have any x-intercept? Because x-intercept means exactly what it says. The x-intercept tells you where the line cuts x-axis. Well, how can it possibly cut x-axis when it's parallel to it? It's always going to remain parallel. No matter what, no matter how high the value of x is, no matter how low the value of x is, it's always parallel because it's always 4. The value of the function is always 4. Let's continue here on the top. What's the domain of this function? What's the domain of this function? Domain is the possible values, possible values x can take, or x can assume if you like, possible values x can assume. Here, 
X can be whatever the hell it wants to be. X can be whatever the hell it wants to be. Now, if you were to pick up, if you were to pick up any mathematics textbook, typically mathematicians do not talk like that. They do not go around saying, "Well, X can be whatever the hell it wants to be." Of course, they're going to put it in more academic way, more polite way. What are they going to say when you say X can be whatever the hell it wants to be? Mathematician would say, "X can take X, the domain here." Domain means the value value that values that x can take, and we just told we just we just discussed here that x can be whatever the hell it wants to be. So that's the domain. Domain means the values that x can assume. Here the domain is domain is set of all real numbers. Set of all real numbers. That is the mathematics. That is the language of mathematics. That is the language of mathematics, set of all real numbers. Set of all real numbers. That's the language of mathematics. Now do you want to translate it into do you want to translate it into English language? Cool, well, let's translate it into English language. X, the values of X are set of all real number. The English language translation is X can be whatever the hell it wants to be. That's the translation. There is no restriction on X. X can take any values once because X doesn't even appear in the function for that for, for, for one thing. We talked about its X intercept. I never talked about its Y intercept. What is the Y intercept of this graph? Which of course is very simple. Y intercept is 4. So here, X intercept, X intercept does not exist. Y intercept is 4, positive 4, like here. It cuts the y-axis, it cuts the y-axis at 4. So that's how we say it, set of all real numbers. That's it, we're done. That's all it was. We were asked to, we were asked to uh, evaluate, discuss this function, y equals f of x, which is 4, and what we found is that this function, f of x equals 4 is simply a line that is parallel to x-axis at 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, at y equal to 4. What is this x-intercept? It doesn't have any x-intercept because it doesn't cut the x-axis ever. It's never going to come, it's never going to come close to x-axis. It's always going to remain parallel to x-axis, right here. Always going to remain parallel. What is this y-axis or y-intercept? The y-intercept is right there. It cuts the y-axis at 4. So we found the x-intercept, we found the y-intercept, we, we described the domain, the domain is set of all real numbers, domain means what values can x assume here, the answer is x can be whatever the hell it wants to be, translation, it is set of all real number, or rather I should have said the other way around, domain is a set of all real number, translation, x can be whatever the hell it wants to be. That's about it, and of course we drew the graph, that's all they wanted, they wanted us to describe the domain, which we did, they want us to describe the shape, which we did here, and they want x and y intercept, which of course we explained already. That was it. I'm going to do one at a time, one graph at a time, because if I try to do two or three uh, together, it's going to be too long, it's going to be too boring and tedious. Okay. We don't want it more than it needs to be. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye now.